I think I might have ended my search for a chakra deck. I think this deck is giving me everything that I need when it comes to an oracle deck. My name is Annette, this is Project Refine Life, and today I am here to share with you the infinite wisdom of the chakras by Alison Dinocoli and Dara Lawrence. It comes in this nice little box. It is published by US Games. It has this little notch on the side. The box is sturdy. Everything that comes in the deck fits in this box. I love the packaging of big boxes. I think it's beautiful, but I like everything to fit into the little box. So this is the guidebook. It's 101 pages, very well done. I will go over that with you in just a few minutes. And then it comes with these beautiful cards, 42 cards. It has this really nice cardstock. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. There's a little satin finish to it, but it's matte and very nice. I really like working with the deck. Now, as you can see, this is the artwork on the back, which I think is just absolutely stunning. It is just beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and start going through the cards with you. The first seven cards are our main chakras. So each card has the name of the card, a keyword, and a nice little meaning of the card, a short version of the meaning, which I think is so well done. So for the first seven cards, you have each corresponding symbol of the card and the color. As you can see, each card is labeled at the bottom with the corresponding color as well. Very, very beautiful. And I love that you can just take these out and use these on your altar for somebody that you're working with um, on their own, just like that. So there are the seven chakra colors. Each chakra has a corresponding five cards. So here we have the root chakra and here we have the corresponding five cards. And again, each card is numbered, has the name, has a keyword, and a brief little description of the card. I also love that it is multicultural. I love that we have this feeling of this spirit energy within this deck, plus we have these deities. I think it's just absolutely stunning and beautiful and so well done. It also has yoga poses. So for me, being a yoga teacher, this is extremely important and so well done. So here's tree and we have rooted. And as you can see here, find harmony by planting your roots deep within the earth. You can stop right there. I mean, you don't have to go any further. You don't have to go into the guidebook with that. You can just take it from there. But if you want to go further, you can. So here we're on to our second chakra. And again, we have the corresponding color on the bottom. And the art is just beautiful. I love that it has this feeling of movement and that dancer pose Oh my goodness, for balance, just beautiful. The art is beautiful. It has movement within the cards, within the art. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, again, we have some deities here, which is just beautiful. Lion for courage. And now we are going into our third chakra, warrior pose. The Phoenix Fire of Transformation, Divine Flow, Confidence. These keywords are just really, really nice. And now this, okay, so my only thing is that <laughs> I was thinking, shouldn't Radha's name be before Krishna's? But you know what? That's just me being picky, okay? So really, it's beautiful and so well done. This, when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. They even captured the energy and the spirit of the Mexican culture within this card with all the roses, the way that it's lit up on the sides and around her. And 
this kind of forming like this rose within her. The Virgen de Guadalupe for forgiveness. Oh, my goodness, just beautiful. Dear Compassion, I got this yesterday. What a beautiful, beautiful deck. Camel pose for opening. We're in the heart chakra now. And then this one, I really did like that they don't shy away from the harder subjects. So here we are with the dark goddess and grief. Now is a time for sensing grief as a gift from the heart, which is what I always say is that grief comes, you know, it's hard and it's tough and, you know, it's difficult to get through, but there are gifts that come from it. So I like that it doesn't shy away from those tough subjects as well. So now we're in the um, throat chakra. And again, beautiful depictions of the goddesses and beautiful art, fish pose for release. Goddess of vibration, truth, oh, just beautiful. Sacred grove for guidance priestess for intuition and I think I missed it but we are into our third eye chakra here I kind of <laughs> I've been working with it and I'm still blown away by just the beauty of this deck so um, here we are with our crown chakra insight spiritual teacher I love this where it's showing that you know you as an elder or this feeling of an elder bringing down that teaching for you Butterfly goddess metaphor. Oh my goodness. Butterfly goddess metamorphosis. I can speak. I can. I do need a little bit more coffee, but I can do it. I can get through this. Shiva. Beautiful. I just think these cards are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so those are the cards. So again, five cards for each chakra, which is enough. It's enough for any type of reading that you're going to be doing within a chakra session or any kind of reading. I think that's enough. I, I think, like I said, I think sometimes we have a tendency of like overdoing things, saying too much, going too deep. I think sometimes it's just enough. Now, what I like about this book is that it is set up for anybody who is new to learning about the chakras as well. So if you're new or if you've been working with the chakras for a short time, it does go into an explanation of the chakras, how they work, bringing them into balance. What, what does chakra mean? It, it covers it all right in this book. It also goes over card readings and it has a few options or two options, single card and multiple card readings. And then it goes into chakra study. So how to work with the chakra and also chakra healings. It goes over the sounds that are associated with each chakra so that you can chant them. It also has, which I think is fantastic, for each chakra listed, or for each of the seven chakras rather, it has a complete description, a very brief but great description of the chakras. So it shows you the art, it shows you the location, the sound, the color, the musical note, the symbol, the rules. Well, so what that means is what that chakra rules over. So as an example here, the root chakra rules the legs and the feet, elimination and the adrenals, the element, the qualities, and the practice. It also tells you the essential oils to use for that specific chakra and the yoga poses. So even though it only mentions one yoga pose within the deck, it does give you a couple more options, which I think is just great. It's just your basics. It's just enough. So if this is your opening to chakras, this is enough to get you working with the chakras and then kind of get you a little bit more curious, which I think anything like this of this nature, I don't think is enough to completely describe whatever it is that you're touching upon. When you're working with a deck, when you're working with an oracle card, anything like that, 
this is just an introductory. It's just kind of like an opening of a door. I do appreciate it when they get into a lot of description about things, but really it's just for you to be a little bit more curious and try to learn more about it. So now within each description of the cards, we have, again, it references the number, the name of the card, the keywords, and then the short description of it. It goes into a full description plus a really nice message on each one as well as a power statement. So an affirmation or power statement, you know, however you want to use that. So each card comes with exactly that. And as you can see, it's about a full, almost two pages for each one, which is a pretty good amount. Now, about the author, this is the same author that has brought us the, um, gosh, and I have this one upstairs, the Mudras for Awakening the Energy Body, the Yoga Dogs deck, and Yoga Cats set, the Divine Feather Messenger deck, and Nature and Soul Yoga Wisdom cards. She is a meditation and yoga teacher. She does energy healing, and she is an award-winning author. And the artist has been involved with, just raised in this spiritual realm, and then also with a deep connection to the earth. She grew up in Hawaii and was just surrounded by the ocean and by everything that exists, all the living beings. So and you can see that within the art, you can see the movement. And I, when I read that, it's like, oh, okay, that describes why I can feel the movement in these cards because where she was at and her, her view of things, all the plants, all the earth, everything was living and breathing. And that's what I can see in these cards. So that is my quick run through of this beautiful deck. I really, really do like it. I have been working with it with the lovely Ohm Tarot. And then I've also worked with it alongside the Super Lenaris Tarot. I'm sure that you can find some decks that it would work lovely with, but as you can see, gosh, these cards are just, the art is just so beautiful and it doesn't fall short after the art. The meanings of the cards and the way that she expresses herself within the meanings is lovely. It's, it's enough. It's not too much. It's enough. So if you're doing a reading for somebody, you, like I said earlier, you can just read this and that's enough. You can just go into it a little bit more. If you're reading for yourself, the same thing. And then you can pull up your guidebook. You can really dig in by taking that reading, the meaning, and then going into how to work with that specific chakra. So you can go into working with the sound and working with the color and working with the oils. Very well done. I really, really enjoy this deck. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you being here and for listening. Thank you so much. I wish you a day filled with love, joy, and happiness. From my heart to yours, I will see you later.